Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's mystery writer Ellie Alexander, and I am so excited to have you in my tort test kitchen today where food meets fiction. I am most definitely not a professional pastry chef, but I play one in the pages of my bake shop mysteries. And today I am testing the most popular dessert recipe from the 1980s. Any guesses what it is? Stay tuned and we'll get baking. Did you guess what the most popular dessert of the 1980s was? The decade of retro, of neon, of crimped hair, scrunchies, side ponytails, leg warmers. It was, drum roll, none other than pineapple upside down cake. I am currently working on testing recipes for book 11 in my bake shop mysteries, nothing but trouble, and I'm taking copious notes every time I bake. Today, I'm gonna bake the classic Betty Crocker recipe, complete with pineapple out of a can and maraschino cherries. But as I'm taking notes when I'm working on a recipe for a book, I try to think about Jules. Jules is an artisan pastry chef. So for her, I have a feeling that she might wanna elevate pineapple upside down cake to match our current 2019 trends, maybe with fresh pineapple, some Pacific Northwest cherries that she's steeped in wine. I don't know, we'll see. But first of all, I am testing the classic pineapple upside down cake. It's gonna be like nostalgia on a plate, I think. So let's get baking. There we have her in all her glory, the Betty Crocker version of pineapple upside down cake. 
I have to say the pineapple slices and maraschino cherries look pretty sweet actually, but I'm eager to hear from you. Are you a fan of pineapple upside down cake? Or what was your favorite dessert from the 1980s? I am still thick in the weeds of recipe testing for the 11th book in the Bake Shop Mysteries, and I would love your ideas and suggestions for other things to test right here in my Tort Test Kitchen. Be sure to subscribe to my page and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new recipes and other videos. Happy baking!